we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Marlin and beside me is my husband Alex. In the last vlog we just arrived to a beautiful little fishing port with a little beach called Portman which we haven't showed you anything from yet because we ended the video there. Today we aren't going to do too much this morning, just a few odd jobs around the van that still need doing and some things that have kind of gone a bit wonky. And then I think in the afternoon when I finished work we will go for a little walk and take you guys with us. Yeah, we actually went for this walk yesterday and it turned out more interesting than we expected. So we thought, why not make a little vlog about it or at least include it in this vlog. Out of the, I think, four or five park apps that we have had now in the last nine days that we've been on the road, I think this one is the absolute best one. We have been able to park with the back doors towards a little fishing port and it's absolutely gorgeous. And then on the other side, there's a beach, which you can't see from here but you can see a line of palm trees yeah it's so pretty when we were driving here yesterday a car in front of us stopped quite quickly because of the cyclist and we had to brake pretty hard and this drawer and actually the bottom drawer came out of it what seems to have happened when we've been going over some bumpy spots is that it's dropped down a bit which means that the, the latch that it goes into it kind of holds it in place is not really fitting in properly so i just need to move this side up a bit nothing major just yeah, little things to stop bad things happening. Is it latching better? That's latching better than before, isn't it? I can hear it. Click. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just measuring. We want perfection here in this house, don't we, Marlin? Well, close to perfection. Next job is to put up this little white strip that goes on the side here. <laughs> So this place seemed to be quite popular with locals. There's a little restaurant just up there, restaurant slash bar where they serve fish and drinks. And it was full of people yesterday. And just up there starts a walk that takes you around the cliff edge. And that's the walk that we went on yesterday, which we figured we would show you a little bit of today. So after Alex finishes working, because he starts in a little bit, that's where we're gonna be headed. I can promise you there will be some beautiful views and also it's a beautiful day. Blue skies, sun is out, it's about 25 degrees, can't be any better. Portman used to be pretty famous for important for the mineral extraction, lots of mining going on here especially during the first world war and the civil war in Spain because well, that was worth a lot of money, all the my minerals and mining that time. As you can see though, we're not actually in the village of Portman. We're down by the sea. Right behind me there is a little fishing port. And then there's also a restaurant that seems to be very popular. It's the middle of the week and it's full of people eating seafood, having drinks with their families. And if you look on the other side of this little fishing port, you will see Vandy. Up on the hill where we're going to go up next, there are lots of sea defences, naval defences. You've got kind of these old barracks, there's some armories. They've even got these kind of lift system in order to take the weapons up or the ammunition up onto the roof and then be used against whatever was incoming, I guess. So yeah, it's a pretty interesting area. There's lots of history here and it was a bit of a surprise to come here and find out all of this actually. So just walking a little bit up the hill to my right here we have a little beach called Playa del Lastre. It's quite interesting actually here in this part of Spain because the sand is black. Pretty interesting along this coastline here. I don't know how far it goes but there are lots of baterias they're called and I think they're sea defense bunkers. Like kind of you know set down into the side of the mountain with little small holes that you can see out of and potentially shoot out of we think they're from the first world war and possibly used in the second world war maybe in the civil war i'm not we're not too sure there's not too much history on it or at least we haven't done enough research to know that Woo. what's going on as you'd expect it's been used as a toilet and it's pretty smelly which is a shame. let's not go in any more of those then <laughs> So I don't know too much about sea defences, uh, but I have played a few World War One and World War Two games like Call of Duty, 
and I think this is like an anti-aircraft, anti-artillery kind of uh, spot. You'd have your big machine in here and it turns at the back there and maybe it shoots boats, shoots airplanes. I don't know, but yeah, it's in good condition. I guess it could be reused if needed. <laughs> at least they had a very nice view. Absolutely, if they just sat here all day waiting for something to happen, they had a nice view to enjoy it. So while we're walking around here, you can see all of these old buildings here. We think they're from the First World War, potentially Second World War, and maybe they were used in the Civil War, we don't really know. Uh, they're the old barracks, the armory, and they have one quarter with projectiles. They've got a bit of everything here. Unfortunately, you can't really go inside because it does say that they are likely to collapse. So fair enough, I'll be staying out. When Alex and I came here yesterday, we couldn't wait to come back with the camera so we could show you guys how beautiful it is. I mean, just look at this. I don't really have to say anything, do I? And we wanted to get the drone up in the air. Before doing that though, before walking here again today, Alex did have a look at the map where it shows whether you can fly your drone or not. And this was an enhanced warning area. Was it something like that, Alex? Indeed it was, yeah. And we thought, why would that be? We couldn't figure out why there was a warning on the map. So just to rewind a little bit to our two previous vlogs. In the first van life vlog, we didn't get to fly the drone much because of strong winds. In the second one, we were close to Alicante airport. So for obvious reasons, we couldn't fly a drone there. And now this, we've been spotting three fighter jets flying around out there on the sky maybe they're just practicing or maybe there is actually an air show going on somewhere but yeah pretty impressive but quite sad for us because we're not getting a drone up in the air again and they're still going flying around i mean it looks like three but it could be four actually maybe one more is joined on i'm not sure i only saw three yeah you're oh. pretty amazed by this aren't you you can't stop watching well not very often you get to see is it you got? Got a lizard. You want a camera? Uh, we'll see. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Hey, buddy. Are you tanning? Warming up in the sun. And then we have these peculiar things, which we have no idea what they are actually. We haven't figured it out yet. It looks like a massive well. It's for chucking people in, right? When we naughty. I don't know, it's really deep actually. Let's have a look. I'm gonna throw a few stones in, you'll see how deep it is. Whoop. So deep. We have left a little coastal path because, uh, well, you can't walk very now because they're trying to do some conservation and joined another path that goes just back in behind the mountains and actually it goes down to these old kind of i don't know what you call them really barracks where barracks. the miners used to sleep apparently we'll show you that in a second as we were driving into portman through the mountains two days ago the first thing we noticed were all these abandoned buildings and little towns scattered all around the mountains and our first thought or alex's first thought was mining. It seems like quite an interesting little area that we're driving through. There are some old mines and all the houses are abandoned. They look pretty old, probably a couple of hundred years old at least. So on our walk yesterday, we were really focused on all the military installations, the sea defenses and everything. And naturally we just thought all of these abandoned buildings would have been the barracks or the garrison for the soldiers. But we ran into a local guy and he actually told us that this is where all the miners used to stay. And I think they stayed here until about 1960 or so and then it was just left to the elements. Stop it guys, I'm trying to have a shower here. Jeez. Is that it for vlogging for today? Should we love them and leave them until tomorrow or? Yeah, I think I'll do, innit? A very day, I mean, a very day, what as better soon, way very to soon. Finish than this. <laughs> Look at those sexy legs. Oh yeah. Good morning, guys. We got up early to create a thumbnail before we're leaving this spot because we're going to another park up only about 20 minutes from here, I think. Yeah, it's called Cala Riona. Uh, it's just along the coast, not so far. All 
All right. Are we ready? Have we got everything? I think we're ready to go. We are all set up, phones plugged in, GPS ready to go. Everything's secured, no drawers are gonna fly out. I hope not. Well, that was a bit of a flop. We came here, I checked online before we came if we'd have coverage with movie star or Vodafone and both said yeah there'll be 4G actually arriving here neither have any signal at all so can't stand here and teach so we're gonna have to find somewhere else to park um the bay looks nice at least <laughs> maybe we'll show you a quick clip it's actually quite a nice little bay it would be really nice to come here for a swim i think what we need to do now is drive in civilization, get some coverage for our phones and for our Wi Fi thing, get some work done, and then come back here in the afternoon. Looks like it's gonna be nice, sea view and 4G plus, so happy days. That didn't turn out too bad in the end for being in the middle of an urbanization or in the middle of a town. Yeah, pretty good spot, but I don't want to sleep here. So a little bit later today, we're going to try and get a spot down by that pretty little beach again where we were a minute ago. This is now the view from our kitchen. This is van life. We have about an hour until Alex has to set up his office. And as we haven't had breakfast, this is the time because we're getting pretty hungry so i whisked up some banana pancake batter this one's got two organic eggs two ripe bananas and i'm going to put some plant-based milk and a little bit of chickpea flour in it as well i'm just winging it so yeah we're going to eat that and then we need to continue with our daily work Today is another beautiful morning on the coast of Spain. We're really glad that we ended up at this spot, aren't we? Yeah, it's beautiful. We can hear the waves crashing all night long. It was actually fairly peaceful. It was pretty quiet throughout the night, wasn't it? Yeah, it was nice. And there are lots of camper vans here. I think more have appeared since we went to bed last night or since we closed the van doors, I would say. Yeah. So I just want to explain that where we are now, it's called Cabo de Palos and it's a cape but then there's also this long strip of land that goes on for i don't know how many kilometers and there's long sandy beach on one side and then small little capes and beaches on the other side and walking from one side to the other side is only about 100 meters yeah, it's really really skinny it's really weird i've never experienced anything like it so i kind of regret we didn't bring our cameras to show you but we managed to get a few little clips from our phones so you will see them here when we got back yesterday from our walk we had actually decided we wanted to move a van to another spot that we had seen when we were out that long skinny part that goes up on the interior side of that there's a really flat nice natural area with a lagoon but getting back here hearing the waves seeing the mountains we just decided to stick around here instead yeah I mean the places are equally beautiful they're just very very different but I'm sure we're gonna to get to park up in places like that lagoon in the future because we're on the road indefinitely at the moment we have no plans or no deadline on this trip we're gonna love you and leave you here it's time to end the video you know what to do right you click the like button you leave us a comment below let us know what you think of this video where should we go in Spain where have you been in Spain and also we would like to have more of a community with you guys like we used to have in the past when we were posting more videos and obviously if you are new here please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell button so that you get updated every time that we post a video 
obviously like all other youtubers we have other ways that you can support our channel we're linking to one up here so check that out there are also more links in the description i think that's it guys thank you so much for watching and we will see you somewhere else in spain thanks for hanging out with us Cheers, bye guys. see ya Remember in the last video guys, I put up this vine and I just want to improve on it because it hangs down a little bit here. A really big detail that needs to be done, right? Well, I, I want it to be better. <laughs> I like things to be nearly perfect or perfectly perfect, if things can be perfectly perfect. It'll make all the difference. Don't you Can't think, you guys? see that, Can't guys? You see it? Just, it just adds that from 9 out of 10 to 10 out of 10, doesn't it? We have a view over there of a little beach called Playa Lustre. <laughs> Although I don't think it's exactly the same thing as in Gran Canaria because obviously Canaria, that's... Canaria. Gran Canaria. You said Canaria. Ah. Sweating. Let's go. In a different way than just watching them. Are we, uh, Can we do that again? Just do there also some links. No, it's too much. I don't want to cut as much. I don't want to cut. Well, as the much. whole thing again. Yes. <laughs>